Today we're going to be talking about the future tense verbs. The verbs in the future. Which is going to happen next. It hasn't happened in the past. It is not something we do every day. It's something we are going to do. Okay? We want to do. We've planned to do it. Either we say next day, next year, tomorrow, next week. You have to relate the verb to these, to the sentence, so you'll know what tense it is. Always read the whole sentence. Okay? Good morning, KG2. Today, our grammar lesson is going to be about the verb, but in the future tense. Remember before we did the past tense and we did the present tense? Remember the two previous lessons we did? Let's, let's recap on what we did. First of all, we go and I want you to remember with me all the pronouns which we've learned. Now we've got I, you, he, she, it, we and they. Is that right? Are those the pronouns? Yes. And we've got singular pronouns and plural pronouns. Singular means one and plural means more than one. Two, three, four, five, until a hundred. Okay, do you remember those now? Can you tell me what the pronouns are? Now, the action for a verb that describes the future is pointing to the front. So, if we're in the classroom and I say to you, always remember, relate it to your finger when you point it to the front of you. I'm going to go to school tomorrow. Look how he's pointing, so you know I mean in the future. Okay? I'm helping you. And we said in the past, you put your finger behind your head. It means it's gone in the past. And present means you point down now. You see? Okay? What is the future tense? What do we mean by future tense? Future means the future tense of a verb refers, means to an action that will happen in the future. It's going to happen, okay? It hasn't happened yet. It didn't happen before. It is going to happen. And we mean here, the simple future tense of a verb is formed by using the helping verbs, look at the red, will or shall, with the base form of the verb. It means just the verb itself, like play, visit, um, eat, right? We can use the helping words with singular and plural verbs, okay? Now, how do we put them all together to make a sentence in the future tense? Right, we have the pronouns, okay? We said we use the pronouns. We have I, you... And then you have he, she, it. Are these singular or plural? I is me. You is you one. He, we're talking about one. Remember far away, a, a boy. She, we're talking about a girl. It, we can be talking about anything like animals or a table or the school. Right? An object. Are you, do you understand it? Is not he or she, it's it. Something, right? The cat, the horse, the house. The house looks very nice. It has a chimney. You see? It. We put it for the house, right? That's an example. Then we have the other pronouns. We, you, and they. These are called plurals. They're more than one. I can be me standing with 10 people. I say we. You can be sitting in the classroom with 20 students and I say you, the classroom, all of you children, I say you are good students. They, if I'm talking about a group of girls, like if I can see Rena, Jawahar, Maryam, 
Khawla standing in the playground playing nicely and I say look Miss Fauzia they are very polite girls you see I'm talking about they the girls many right let's begin now to use each one in the future we said we're going to use the pronoun the helping verb and the verb make a sentence let us see if I say I now the helping verb when I want to use the word the pronoun I I can use it with will and shall okay only the pronoun I and we the singular I I can use the helping verb to connect the verb with the pronoun there should be a helping verb in the middle it is will or shall with I if I want to do the future sentence in the future and we also we can use it with will or shall right so if I have the verb play and I have the pronoun I so I say I where's the helping verb I can say I will play football tomorrow let's use the next one the pronoun you plus the helping verb you will play you will play football tomorrow now if I have the pronoun he she it I want to use them in a sentence with the helping verb will so I can use any of these he will play football tomorrow she will play football tomorrow the future tomorrow it will run in the race next week we're talking maybe about the horse okay now these are singular pronouns aren't they and we use them with the helping verbs the only pronoun which takes will and shall in the singular is i i can't say you shall he shall she shall it shall no only i i i can use it i will or i shall that's in the singular plurals in the singular pronouns okay now we're going to use the plural pronouns with the helping verb with the verb to make a sentence in the future we will play football next week we shall play football next week but when i come to the you you we can only say will we cannot use shall with it so you will play football next week they will play football next week do you understand now let's go all over it all again we have the pronouns i you he she it they are singular single only one i one you is one he she and it is one thing only one they call them singular then we go down to the plural if you can see plural pronoun is we you they okay those are the pronouns we have singular and plural pronouns now to make a sentence in the future tense we must have a helping verb what are the helping verbs to will and shall those are the helping verbs now only two pronouns we can use we will and shall with them only i and we i can either use will or shall with i and i can use will and shall with the pronoun we only these two the others all of them only will 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 okay and then we put the verb any verb i put you just put in front of it if it's i you can use will or shall play you will play not shall he she it only with will now the plural we said we you and they only we we can use will and shall you will they will 
But if I say we will, and if I say we shall, it's correct as well. Because only I pronoun and we pronoun, they take the helping verb will and shall. The others only take will plus the verb. And then we have the sentence in future. Now, KG2, look here. I'm going to show you how to make your own sentence, right? Using the pronoun, helping verb, and the verb, right? Look here carefully. We're going to make the sentence in the future tense. Be careful and listen. Not the past, not the present. We are talking about the future. Right, look here. The first one, he, see the pronoun is he, then plus, helping verb is will, you must put that, and the verb, we're going to use the verb walk, okay? Now, look at this sentence coming now. He will walk to school tomorrow. See the word at the end, tomorrow, it's in the future. You always look at the end as well. So, we've got he, that's the pronoun. Will in red is the helping verb. And the verb is walk, right? We can't just say he will walk. We want to finish the sentence to make it a meaningful sentence, which makes sense. So, we say he will walk to school tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay? That's the first sentence. The next one, we will use the pronoun she. She also, we use with she the helping verb will. Again, we're still using will for he and she. Now we're doing she. She is the pronoun. The helping verb is will. And the verb is the same verb we're using walk. She will walk to school tomorrow. That's in the future. Now the third one. The pronoun is they, the helping verb we said is will, and the verb we've put it already, ready is walk, so they will walk to school tomorrow in the future. The pronoun, the next one, is the, the pronoun is you, and the helping verb to help us is will, and the verb is walk. You will walk to school tomorrow in the future. Now, did you notice that the pronoun he, she, they, you, they all use the helping verb will. All of them. They never change. Okay? You learn them. But we have the pronoun I and another pronoun we, we can use two different helping verbs and you know what they are will and shall so if i want to make my sentence now i will use the pronoun i the helping verb is will so i will walk to school tomorrow and also i can use the other one because only this pronoun and its friend we they take the two helping helping verbs shall and will so i will write the other sentence with the same pronoun i and i will put i shall walk to school tomorrow so if i give you the pronoun i and i say to you write me a sentence in the future you can use the help shall or the helping verb will do you understand now so i she takes two I can have two helping verbs. The first one is will and the other one is shall. Now for the other pronoun and the last pronoun, we pronoun we. We also takes two helping verbs, will and shall. We will walk to school tomorrow or you can write we shall walk to school tomorrow. Both of them are right. Do you understand now? So, look at the page on the screen and think. If I say to you, I, the pronoun I, and the pronoun will, uh, and uh, sorry, and the pronoun we, they both take the helping verb 
will and shall. Okay, here KG2, here are some examples of the verb in present, past and future tense. Let's read the first one. I play football every day. Now, the verb here is play. This verb is in present because we are saying every day and nothing added to the verb at the end. See, the verb is play. Let's see the next one. I played football yesterday. Look at the verb and look at the word yesterday. Yesterday means what? Something I did and finished. So this is past tense. The verb here will have ed at the end. I played football yesterday. Why we added ED? Because it happened and finished in the past. Yesterday means something happened and finished in the past. The third one, I will play football next week. I'm talking about next week. This means the future. Something will happen in the future. Okay, so here, when we change the verb to the future, we will use the helping word will in the beginning, the first. Then we add the verb will play. I will play football next week. Like that, the verb is in the future tense. Now choose the correct verb. Number one, you space your hair every day. What do you do with your hair every day? Very good. Brush. Now, is it brush or brushed or will brush? I'm saying every day. Every day. I didn't say yesterday. I didn't say next week. I'm saying every day. So the verb here is in the present. Very good. So we will choose the verb brush. You brush your hair every day. Let's see the next one. You space your hair yesterday. Yesterday finished, right? So this means the verb will be in the past tense. Which one here has ed at the end? Yes, the second one. So it will be you brushed your hair yesterday. Excellent. Number three. You space your hair tomorrow. Tomorrow means something will happen. Tomorrow, something will happen. Which one here is the, using the helping word and the verb? Helping verb and the verb. Yes, the third one. You will brush your hair tomorrow. Why I used will plus the verb? Because I'm saying tomorrow. Tomorrow. This is the future. Future means will plus the verb. Will plus the verb. The verb here is brush, so it will be will brush. You will brush your hair tomorrow. Here another example, KG2, with the pronoun he. He space his grandfather every week. Again here, the word every week means that the verb is in the present or past or in the future. Very good, in the present. And he is a singular pronoun. And we said in the present, with the singular pronouns, we add an S to the verb. Which verb here has an S at the end? Excellent. The second one. So it will be he visits his grandfather every week. Let's see number two. He space his grandfather yesterday. Yesterday means he did something and it finished. What did he do yesterday? 
Yes, he visited. This is the verb in the past. Why in the past? Because we have here the word yesterday. How we change the verb to the past? We are adding ed to the verb. The correct verb is visited. He visited his grandfather yesterday. Let's see the third one. He space his grandfather next week. He's talking about something. He will do it. Okay, this means the future. And in the future tense, we are using the helping verb plus the verb. Which one here has the helping verb and the verb? Excellent. The third one, will, which is the helping verb, then the visit, the word, the verb visit. So the correct answer is will visit. He will visit his grandfather next week, which means in the future. Right. Remember when we were talking in the past? Remember we were talking about the past? What do we add to the verb? E-D. Very good. In the past, we add something which has happened in the past. It's gone. Finished. Okay? We add E-D to the verb. So if I want to talk about something what I did yesterday, I talked yesterday. I cooked yesterday. Very good. We add ed. Look here. We do, we're talking about the past, aren't we? In the first column here, I talked. I, look at the verb cook, right? I cooked. Ed in the end. I, the third one, I listened yesterday. It's all in the past. I listened to my teacher in the classroom yesterday. I skated on ice at the club. I walked round the park last week. Past, it's gone. So you add ed to the verb, right? Now, if I want to talk about something today, right? We're using the pronoun I. Only I am using I. So I. You just write the verb itself without nothing. You don't add nothing to it with I. You just write the verb. Today, present means today. I talk, I cook, I listen, I skate, I walk. Hmm? Something what you usually do. I talk to my friends in the class every day. I cook nice food in my kitchen. I listen to my mother at home every day. I walk to school every day. You see something present. Okay, what you do. Now we're talking about the future. Remember what I told you about the pronoun I? It can take two helping verbs. What are they? Shall and will. Okay, so I can say I shall talk. I shall cook. I shall listen, I shall skate, I shall walk. I can use it with will. I will talk, I will cook, I will listen, I will skate, I will walk. That is in the future. Tomorrow I'm going to do this or next week. The next question down here, it says... Write some sentences about what you did yesterday. Is that in the present, future or in the past yesterday? Remember, you do the sentences. What do you add at the end of the verb? Remember, ed. So any verb you use, you put ed and you use the pronoun I because what you did. Okay. Now here. Write some sentences about what you will do tomorrow. You didn't do it yesterday. You are not doing it now today. In the present, I eat, I cook, I listen. No. What are you going to do in the future tomorrow? 
with the pronoun I because I'm asking you what you will do. So you answer, you say I and we said I. So we put the pronoun and then the helping verb, helping verb, which is will or shall because we've got I, it takes two, either will or shall. And then you put the verb, any verb. Okay, and that's how you do your work.